Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're making a Christmas tree designed by me, Mr. Campbell Prince. This took a massive 18 kgs worth of filament, which was helped supported by today's sponsor, Polymaker, who provided all the wonderful polyterra filament that I'll be using in today's video. There'll be links in the description below if you wanna purchase it yourself. Um, please check out their website for all their range of filaments from PLA to PETG to Polyterra to their wood filaments. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Polymaker, for supporting this. Now, with all that being said, let's crack on with the video. Now, as I said in the intro, this build took a whopping 8 kg worth of filament. The leaves alone took 8 kg. Um, this Polyterra forest green is absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, I did have to split up the leaves into certain parts. The top of the tree was fine, it matched the fit on the build plate perfectly. But as I get lower down and the leaves get wider and taller, I split up into more and more parts. And as you'll see in a moment, the last two parts are split into eight. Um, this took ages to build. For this whole project, it took 15 days to print. The leaves alone took seven days. Half the time we're just printing out these leaves. Um, and I had to sort of finagle how I'm gonna do it. Do I need it? I didn't wanna make it too heavy because I don't wanna use the whole 18 kg on top of the base because it will snap and break. Um, well, it wouldn't have if I planned it, but I thought, let me try and have the best of both worlds, make it light and durable. So in terms of print settings, these are only on a 8% infill. Um, and yeah, it's using support cubic. So it's basically just supporting the roof and the structures above it, but the sides are quite thin. Um, it's two walls. So these are quite light, but there's a lot of them. And as you can see me now, I'm placing them, I'm putting them in. I did print out pegs so I could slot them in easily, but because I printed the walls so thin, some of the pegs poked a hole through and I only numbered and labeled these leaves just before filming this video. So I just put them all in a box and I had to find and match which ones are there. You gotta mess up because yeah, just fumble fingers. But yeah, other than that, it was fine. I just a plan, match and stick together, but it worked out really well. Now with the leaves assembled, let's try to place them on top of each other so I can actually see what it looks like. And just to mention, when I'm doing my builds on this channel, I do them for the first time. I don't pre-plan or do them beforehand. You see them just as I see them for the first time. And honestly, I'm smiling ear to ear watching this. Removing the support of the trunks was super satisfying. In total, it took about two days to print as this had a 50% infill and it had four walls. Um, I probably overdid it and made it super strong, but this is gonna be the tree I'm using in my family home this year. So I want it to be there. I want it to be used again and maybe next year as well. Now this is the part I've been waiting for, the semi-constructed tree with the leaves over the trunk. Um, luckily, the dimensions were done perfectly. It fit over smoothly. It's able to be disassembled and reassembled as and when you need it, because I didn't want this to be a permanent thing. Obviously you can glue it together, but I don't want to. I want to be able to put it away and then bring it out next year. But yeah, I'm really happy the way this turned out. Like I said, the colors are beautiful again. Thank you, Polymaker. But just in general, I'm just so glad I got a chance to make a project. And thank you all so much because you're helping me make my dreams come true. So yeah, let's crack on with the rest of the video.
Now, believe it or not, this was the most difficult part of the build. When I mean difficult, I mean the most frustrating because I lost all the pins to stick the box together. And fundamentally, I printed those pins out so I could align them perfectly. But because I didn't have that, and there are 12 pieces of this box in total, I had to make sure every single piece was aligned with another one before even gluing it together, which was really, really annoying. So I know I said at the beginning, I don't pre-plan things, but it's the one thing I did have to sort of semi-fit prior before filming um, and also same thing, I just did the exact same thing you're seeing now I just wanted to make sure it did fit so I didn't have to reprint the pins again because I'm in the middle of doing another project and I didn't have time to reprint them but as you see in a moment things worked out so yeah crack on with the video I just want to say a massive thank you and shout out to every single one of you watching this video, everyone who likes, everyone who's a comment, everyone who subscribed. If you haven't done so already, please do that down below. But yeah, without you guys, you are literally making my dream come true. I love doing what I'm doing. I want to be able to share more ideas, more techniques, more crazy themes. I want to show you new equipment, whatever it may be. But yeah, thank you so much. Please share these videos. Please tell everyone about it and continue to make this happen. But with that being said, let's crack on with the video. Now it's time to clean up my baubles. This was super satisfying. I love the way these colors look. This is like I'm in a rainbow sort of field. Um, these were quite simple. I'm just giving them a little clean up now because looking at the edges of them, they are quite frayed just from where the supports were, but it wasn't nothing to it really. It was just literally scrape and place. Um, and yeah, it is quite straightforward. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'll leave the rest of the video and stick around until the end to watch the ever famous glamour shot slash animation. See you in a minute. Now everything's put together, the baubles are on, it's time to remove the support of the star and place it on top. Now the goal for this project was to make a one and a half meter tall Christmas tree. Like I said at the beginning, I don't pre-do these. You're watching it as I'm doing it, so I hope I achieve that goal. We're about to find out in a minute. If I do hit that goal, please leave a like, maybe leave a comment if you want to see something different, something bigger or smaller. Let's go. Oh yes, we did it. Now with that being said, it's time to watch the animation slash glamour shots. Let's go! Thank you. 